Well, we moved from the city. We moved from Louisville, Kentucky, and we moved here to Ferdinand, Indiana. From homesteaders in the suburbs to homesteaders in a mobile home park. Well, a small park anyway. There's one over here. There's one there. And there you can see. We have a little few of them. There's not a lot here, but uh, we bought a little 14 by 62 bedroom, two bath, downsizing tremendously. But you might ask, well, how can you have a homestead in a mobile home park? Well, it's fairly easy. Here's our plants. As you can see, we're going to have you know, We've already eaten a lot. We've got a late start. We weren't able to plant until May as we were moving. So we planted about mid-May, but uh, we have quite a harvest already. We got a lot of things coming. We got tomatoes and a lot more over here. So we have several beds. We have, of course, we didn't see a lot of bees, so we planted a lot of sunflowers so that we could bring in the bees. So we have quite a beautiful array of sunflowers, which we truly enjoy. And then we have the tomatoes. These are going to be the beef steaks. So we're looking forward to those. These are just getting ready to go. They're not there yet. But, uh, and we have another garden bed for planting arugula trees. And of course, there is our tomatilla. That's a mainstay for us now, ever since we accidentally planted them uh, up in Louisville. And then this little burg in Ferdinand, Indiana has now has tomatillas. But there's our pepper plants. We've got a lot of nice peppers already hanging on these. There's a, very nice one coming along down here, if you can see it. Several. Of course, we got our flower, we got our watering barrels. I put up gutters. Of course, they don't come with gutters, so we gotta do a lot to our mobile home to get it good for two people. But uh, it's got our flowers, and we got 50 gallon of water that she can water the plants with and things with our water barrel. Of course, if you live in a small mobile home and downsize, you're gonna need one of these. A nice uh, size storage shed and uh, we just built this or not we had it built by Amish $4,200 is a good price nowadays for one that size and then garden bed number three now this is going to be a loads of beefsteaks and there's some more tomatillas and then we have a lot of peas coming on over here so this is garden bed number three okay and of course we have our mint on this side and spearmint on this side okay and as you can see this is the backyard another water barrel <laughs> i don't recommend these just sprung a leak on us and my wife had to use it up but that we did have but it leaks so we paid fifty dollars for it supposed to be one that even measures the water but it didn't work out so i'm gonna have to buy another one try to get my money back on that got it off of ebay but I would never recommend anybody buy one. They pop and leak when they get full, okay? Another pepper plant is gonna be doing all kinds of peppers. And another bed, we have a lot of plants going on. More tomatoes, we're going to have quite a harvest tomato. More beef steaks here. So you can see all the flowers are gonna produce a lot. And this one, these are our cherry tomatoes. They're getting ready. Of course, these were planted much, much later, so I'm Surprise! I think we had planted these in the first part of June, and here it is, middle of July, and they've really come along well. So, this is the back of our mobile home, and uh, it's been a real pleasure. And of course, the front, you can't have a mobile home without decorating a little bit, and I put some beautiful flowers out. And, uh, and we have the deck. Hey. Hi, Vic! <laughs> <laughs> you enjoying you the garden? Huh? Oh, another cucumber, another one. Wow, we're getting a lot of those, aren't we? Yeah, they're well, that's coming great. on. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, wow, look at the tomatoes on this plant. Yeah, we're going to have a nice harvest here coming real soon. Wow, you've done a good job with your flowers. They're looking good. Thank you. And we've got the deck up here, and of course, the deck is a great place for growing all kinds of vegetables. Was it a five gallon bucket? So, as you can see, you can do a whole lot even in a mobile home park. So, we downsized tremendously. 
uh, when we did, we went on, we had uh, three, uh, three huge, huge, and I mean extra huge uh, storage facilities for all our stuff. So we sold a lot. We got on uh, the uh, marketplace for our Facebook local area, and we sold a lot of our stuff. And as you can see, the cabinets, this is a Clayton, uh, and uh, as you can see, the cabinets are very small. We're going to take these out. We got other cabinets coming in. These were just not big enough for what we have. So we're going to be putting a big cabinet over top of the fridge. And then we're going to have our dinner. Of course, we're going to put an add one over here. And we're going to have a big pantry over here. We had to add this pantry. This didn't come with a pantry in the washer and dryer room. Okay, so we had to add that. And of course, I had to add shelves. Uh, it didn't have any shelves when we came in. I think they were supposed to come with shelves. But none, of course, deep pantry in here so that we can keep all our stuff. We put that in because it did, certainly didn't come with that, okay? And then, of course, we got downsized the table. We got rid of our big table. But this one will extend out. We had some friends over, and we could uh, seat six around it. It spreads out, and it goes down when we need it. Found some antique chairs. But everything came with it. We didn't get a stainless steel fridge because I'm gonna have battery backup, uh, solar and battery. And these are smaller wattage, so very small watts. I think the uh, Frigidaire takes about 45 uh, watts, so, and, uh, so it don't take a lot to uh, keep our everything going. Wash and dryer is very efficient, okay? And of course, uh, we have plenty of room. We could even keep our hutch, okay? And our uh, big cabinets we use for the... Uh, TV, but it gives us a lot of storage. Okay, and then we go, we've got another bedroom over here. And that right now that storage, it's got our cabinets and everything in that we're going to be putting in in the kitchen. And I got a little clothes there. Got a nice bathroom here. This is uh, bathroom number one. Of course, we had to put everything in. It didn't come with any of the uh, towel racks or anything like that. That was all had to be added when we came in. And then I added the lights. These lights got it on a remote here, and I can uh, turn that on. And I can do a lot of different things with it. Okay. And it makes a uh, good light. They don't add lights like this. That's like a chandelier. I, put, I added new lights in the kitchen, so we'd have a lot of extra light. They're very cheap. You can get them on uh, eBay or uh, from Amazon and they give a lot more light and we're just a lot more pleased we did the same in the bedroom we changed all the lights these are what came in the closets and things but in the bedroom we did the same we changed it and it's got a pretty big bedroom and i like the size of the window uh in this this clayton uh it's uh makes for a really nice home so yeah we have two bed two baths this is a, a larger bath here and uh, this is my wife's bath Okay, and uh, it's pretty standard, but they put the closet here. We don't like the closet here, so what I'm going to do is close this off. I'm just going to close this side off, this whole closet area where you walk in. And I'm going to shiplap this whole back after I got that in, and then I'm going to cut the closet here. And then my wife can have a huge uh, walk-in closet with uh, things all around. Instead of just one side, it will be all around, and this will be closed off, and that, of course, will be a nice size uh, walk-in closet rather than what she's got now. So plenty of work to do. I'm in the process of building our new uh, pantry, which is going to go here. It's going to rise up to about a height here. It's a good place for it. They only made it 13 inches uh, wide, so it won't get in the way. It'll be about the width of that uh, trash can going up and have eight shelves in it all the way up and that will give us a lot of storage and uh, new cabinets will also give us a bunch of storage so this is our new homestead we're really uh, glad we downsized because we feel uh, and we're going to downsize some more as you can see we got a lot of stuff yet that we need to kind of downsize but we figure out more is less nowadays uh, we, we're just two people and we just had so much, so much that we uh, had accumulated over the years. And we just decided 
hey, it's time to downsize with the two of us. And this is ample, plenty for us. So we're really enjoying it and uh, having a nice uh, Clayton uh, is, is a nice thing. So if you ever want to downsize, thinking about downsizing, homesteading, you can do it any place, anywhere. You can plant, you can do what you need to do. And uh, this is how my wife and I are going to spend our retirement. God bless you and we'll see you in the next video.